Hey there guys, Skibby here from Skibby6 Gaming, T coming to you from, this is just going to break anyway, I guess, if I, there you go, I don't know what the heck that's going on, it's, today, we're making tutorials, we're not doing anything to do with this secret door, uh, but we are going to be doing an automatic melon farm, so I have a few that I've done so far, and uh, this one here is pretty s simple, you know, I added some red and green stained glass because I wanted it to look cool, you know, I wanted it to go, and we got 34 melons, I only made this less than an hour ago, uh, not even, so as you can see, what, why didn't this uh, bud, did I break something? I broke something. I'll show you it works on the new one, don't you worry guys. Uh, I must have broke something. There we go. So again, it's not going to be perfectly efficient, uh, but this is as easy as it gets. I thought I would show everybody just how to make a quick one. 34 melons, honestly, in an hour. I don't care if you lose a couple here and there. Uh, that means in a couple days you will have all the melons. You know what? I'm getting so frustrated right now. Those cows are done. I can't. I can't deal with these cows. I made this. This. This is an automatic cow farm without any redstone. So uh, I'm gonna do this tutorial next, but these cows are done for for now because I cannot deal with it. They're giving me a headache. Okay, and I'm gonna turn, this is an automatic furnace array. I am going to turn off as well. Uh, we gotta get the silence going, you know? We need to think when we make some tutorials. Okay, so automatic melons, pretty easy, pretty easy. Grab yourself some dirt. Uh, I'm going to be missing my piston. Let me get my piston now so I don't have to. Okay. So, all you got to do, guys, is... Let's do it right behind it. I like to make things symmetrical. Grab yourself some dirt and do this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get rid of this one. You don't need it. Grab yourself some pistons. Put the piston right here. Right here. So, on that note, you might as well get this out of the way now. And go ahead and put till it with a hoe put yourself some melons or pumpkins or whatever you want to put right there all you got to do now is grab your block of choice put one up here 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 like a zigzag like that as you can see and we're gonna go over here do the same thing and there you go so grab yourself a torch the one that I got rid of to make space for something else and Put a torch right here, put a torch right here. Grab this redstone dust. This is kind of what glitched out on the last one. As soon as you put it, you're gonna see that it's budding out, kind of, it's just doing As you do that, that is pretty much most of the redstone work. I'm gonna, for my builds, usually I'll just throw a piece of glowstone here. Uh, in between these, you could be cheap, you could use a torch, you could use whatever you want, but having some light there is always handy. Uh, works good for me. So. I'm just going to use regular glass on this one, guys. I don't need to uh, go crazy. So first things first, uh, let's grab a chest and let's put the chest right there. Let's grab our hoppers and bring them around. You're going to notice a few buds when we do this because we're bringing hopper into that one, hopper into this one. And you'll see a bud when we do this. Don't worry, guys. That's okay. Go around, do the same thing, crouch place, make sure you push in the left trigger, and there you go. It's going to butt out again. Grab yourself some glass, block this bad boy off. And then go this way. Again, for this one right here, you know what I like to do? I'm going to jump up here. You could go ahead and put the glass right there. It works just fine, and then just continue it out, because that's where I'll put my picture frame. You can access everything nice and easy. And go around here, around, around, around. If you wanted to use green and red stained glass like I did over there, that would be fun. You can do this. Let's go bone meal this bad boy. That way you guys will get the luxury of seeing how good it is. Hopefully sometime. And we're good. So, it's all closed off. I like to take a little picture frame. Put it right here. We'll grab some melons just to make it look shiny. And there you go. Looks good to me. Again, if you wanted to make this more survival friendly, 
what I would recommend that you do is uh, anywhere a mob can spawn, uh, you might want to cover like this and this. That will help you out. Um, I don't think it will affect it if you put it here and here. So what I would do is probably put it uh, right there. That way it will stop it. And you could most likely put it right there too. And I think that you would actually put it right here and right here. I think I just probably went a little over the top. You know what? Let's make sure. Let's go make sure everything doesn't bud. You got to really be careful, guys, uh, with bud switches. Uh, all it takes is one wrongly placed bud switch, and we'll just make sure it works good. And there you go. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Ready to party. You can d dress it up like this one, but this is pretty much as simple as it gets. That's why I made it. Simple automatic. Uh, Pumpkin or melon farm, whatever you wanted to use. Don't forget, guys, share this video on your social media, Facebook, Twitter. Hit me on Twitter if you ever need anything. I usually try my best to comment uh, or reply to everybody once a day or two. Uh, and, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, all those things that all the YouTubers say at the end of their videos. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.